guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I would sit down and film what's in my hospital bag. Um, we are getting close. I have my whole hospital bag packed and ready to get on out of here and go have a baby. Um, see if I can move you guys lower. I think that's better. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm almost 36 weeks pregnant. I have my hospital bag packed and ready. So I thought I would sit down and actually show you guys what I am bringing with me as a first time mom. I know this kind of differs for everybody and I'm sure I am bringing things I'm not gonna use, but um, you live and you learn. This is my first baby, so I don't really know what to expect. So if you guys are interested in this video, just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave any comments down below on what you're bringing, what essentials you think are necessary for when you are having a baby. So let's just jump on into the video. So um, I am bringing just like a regular suitcase. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but um, it's just a regular size suitcase. I don't think it's, little, it's bigger than a carry-on, um, but it fit everything for me and him in here. So. I'd rather bring a bigger bag and just have one bag and then be hauling a whole bunch of bags in. So let's open this bad boy. See what we got. Okay. Life is becoming really hard. Being pregnant. Okay. Alright, so the first thing I have in here is my own blanket. This fit in the suitcase, that way I don't have to carry it inside. Um, but I got this off of Amazon. I thought it would just be nice to have my own nice nice soft blanket just to keep me comfortable So I'm, having, I'm bringing a blanket and then I am bringing my own. I'm gonna bring my own pillow Just to have my own little comfort items. I bought that off of Amazon And then I have a pair of just black flip-flops to bring this way. I just have something to like shower in or if I decide to wear these home I just have something easy easy to slip on I will likely have him at the end of this month and we are in July so it's gonna be nice and hot when we leave the hospital so just something easy to slip on and then I am bringing uh, my own Frida uh, Perry bottle I got this off of Amazon I've heard good things about this one just to help kind of relieve some pain if I do end up delivering vaginally. And then I brought my own Depends. I got these off of Amazon. Um, I think these will be easier to wear rather than um, like underwear and big pads. So I bought these. I'll bring some of my own just to see how I like them after I actually give birth. And then next I have this little bag here. This has all of my toiletries in it. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. So it kind of comes in two separate, it has a little flap in the middle. So on this side I have just like shampoo, conditioner, lotion, deodorant, chapstick. I am gonna bring some of my headbands because I know I'm gonna want my hair up. Um, a little moisturizer. And then I also bought stuff for Jake to put in here too. So I have like a men's body wash, a men's deodorant, and um, I have two toothbrushes in here for me and him, a brush, um, some hair ties, bobby pins, just anything I could think of that I would need because I am definitely a person that I feel like I'm gonna want to shower after I have him. Once I'm ready and willing to get up, I do want to have the option to shower and have my own stuff to shower with. So that's that. I have, I just bought duplicates of everything that I like to use just so that I'm not last minute trying to grab little things that I don't wanna have to worry about. So that's why I just bought a whole bunch of duplicates of stuff that I use and then bought stuff for Jake so he doesn't have to worry about stuff. So I put all of that in that little baggie. And then I have just a little swaddle for him. I don't know if I'll put him in it while we're there, but I got this off of, I got this at Cabela's. It came in a pack of two. The other one is so freaking cute too. And then my own little loofah. 
and then I put all of his stuff in this little travel travel bag I'm not bringing a whole bunch for him I think I have like three outfits in here and then I do have two separate passies just to see which one he likes and I might not even end up using these because I am gonna try and breastfeed and if he's not latching on well I don't want to be introducing passies and you know my boobs you know all that stuff I don't want him to be all confused so we'll see if I even end up using these but I'll bring them in case and then I have a going home outfit and then I have an outfit to announce his birth and his name it has his name on it and stuff and it's so freaking cute so you guys I just have to wait and see that when he's actually here and then I just brought one sleeper it has little zebras and uh, I'm not zebras drafts tigers and stuff and then it has the little fold over mittens for his little hands um, I might not even put him in this he might I'm assuming he'll probably just be skin to skin with me most of the time but I figured why not so that's literally all I'm bringing for him I know they're gonna provide literally everything else diapers wipes I'm not gonna bother bringing any of that stuff I'm gonna save all that for when we're actually home. So that's all we're bringing for baby. I have this belly band I got off of Amazon. So I'll put this on after. I don't even know if this will fit me because it is really freaking tight and I haven't even tried it on yet, but just to help kind of keep everything in place. I've heard it's really helpful, especially if you have a C-section. And even if you don't, just to, I mean, your abdomen is shrinking back down to its size. So your abs are just changing, so. I think this will be nice to have just to feel more secure like when getting up and moving around so I thought that'd be nice to have. I have this matching set I got at my baby shower actually. So it's a robe and then it comes with a swaddle and then a hat for him. So I can wear the robe and then I'll swaddle him up and then we'll have a little matching outfit and we can take pictures if we're up to it. I thought that was really cute. And then I have a couple nursing bras. Um, I got these off of Amazon as well. Um, I have a, a gray one, black one, and a dark gray one. So they just look like this. And then these little uh, clips clip down just for easy access. Thought those would be nice to have while I'm trying to learn how to breastfeed. Okay, and then clothes for me. I have just this, it's like an olive green long dress. Just like a sundress kind of thing so I might go home in this this is one of my options to go home in like I said maybe July I just want something easy flowy comfortable to throw on and go home I have this black t-shirt this is also like a nursing t-shirt um, they have little slits on the sides just also easy access to get in there and then I have I got this robe at Target. It's just a navy blue robe with like white threading. So I'll probably be in this a lot of the time, just in a nice robe so that it's easy for me to just open up, be skin to skin with him. And then lastly, I have just a pair of sweatpants, just a pair of like camo sweatpants. So I might wear this in the black t-shirt home or the dress home, whatever I decide. And then I have my own... I'm gonna bring my own water bottle. I have a hydro flask. I like my water ice cold. So I figured I'd just bring my own water bottle to fill up while I'm there and keep refilling it while I'm there. Just to keep my water nice and cold. I have two separate pairs of fuzzy non-skid socks. These are so soft. And then they have the little non-skid part on the bottom. So that way I can wear these around the hospital room and I'm not slipping and sliding everywhere. And then I have um, two 10 foot long chargers. I bought those separately too, just to keep in the bag. So that's another thing I'm not worrying about trying to grab when we're trying to leave. Um, that's if I do end up going into labor, I don't know. But if we're being induced, that'll be a little easier to make sure we have everything. But I wanted this bag to be pretty much ready to go so that if my mom had to come grab it or something like that, she could just grab it and go. Not like, okay, can you grab my bag? And then can you grab this, this, and this, and this? I think it's just easier to have everything ready to go. So that's pretty much all I have in my in my bag. I am gonna be bringing my little boppy. I got this off of Amazon as well. I just love the little um, 
pattern or design, I guess. The little bears and the trees and this is Happy Camper, North Park. It's just, it's super freaking cute. And then last minute things I'm going to be bringing is just my laptop and charger. And uh, me and Jake actually went to the hospital the other day because I was having some weird like vision changes. So they sent me to the labor and delivery just to get checked out. And we were there all day and there was literally nothing on the TV to watch. But they did have plugins for like a fire stick or a Roku stick. So I'm going to grab the one we have last minute and throw it in the bag so we have so we can watch Netflix or Hulu or whatever and I think that is it you guys I think that's all I have in my bag like I said first time mom I don't know if I totally overpacked or underpacked I don't freaking know but we will find out I know the hospital has literally anything you can need so this is just kind of like the stuff I want to be using for my own comfort and stuff like that so I think I am, oh, last thing I'm bringing is my breast pump. I got that in the mail. It's already in the car, so I don't have to worry about grabbing it. It's just going to stay there until we have him. I figured I would bring it so that my lactation consultants can show me and make sure I'm using it right, make sure the sizing is right, and everything like that. So that's why I'm bringing that. So I already have that in the car. I'm going to keep my bag in the house until the time comes. But yeah. That is all I have in my hospital bag. Like I said, just leave a comment down below. Like what are things that you guys are bringing? What are things that you find like totally necessary that I didn't pack? And you're like, oh, you need to bring this. Just leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' input. Oh, I'm so excited. We're getting so freaking close. I just can't wait. I mean, I can, you know, I'm trying to enjoy these last few weeks. Um, I am done working. I finished working a couple days ago. I actually went out earlier than expected, but I am ready to just relax and just wait for this baby to come and enjoy my last few weeks actually sleeping. So <laughs> I actually took a nap today. Anyways, I'm rambling, but that's all I have in my bag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love watching videos like this. This is how I kind of put my bag together based off of what a lot of other people said, but that's all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.